Good morning everybody. Uh, today is Wednesday and it is blooming hot already. It's half nine in the morning. I've just taken Chloe to nursery and I thought I would just film what Lyra and I are up to this morning. Um, and then hopefully later on this afternoon I'll be able to go through with you um, what little bits and pieces we're taking on holiday with us because we are going to Butlins uh, next week. So I wanted to show you what I'm packing for the girls, what extra bits we're taking. We do have our breakfast and dinners included but obviously we need to take some extra bits so I thought I'd show you that later on as well. So I hope you enjoy following us around today. We're just enjoying the amazing weather today it's still it's half nine and it's still absolutely boiling but i thought we'd come out and play in the sand pit for a bit until it gets too hot you play in the sand pit darling that's it put it in the pot can you say pot pot, pot. good girl <laughs> hung up the washing it's ridiculously hot out there it's only half 10 so we've been outside for a good hour um but it's just getting way too hot for lyra and she's just getting stroppy and throwing stones and things so um we've come in and i have been ordered to put on some hay duggy so we're just going to sit and do that for a bit have some lunch and then hopefully this afternoon when uh chloe gets back from nursery we can go outside again then because it'll be a bit, little bit cooler um, that's the only thing in this country, isn't it? Like when it gets warm, it's just that horrible sticky heat where you don't really want to be playing outside and doing anything. But mustn't complain because this will probably be the last bit of sunshine we get and August will probably be horrendous. Dougie. So, Dougie, yeah, Mummy's going to put Dougie on for you. Lunchtime. You've demolished that sandwich, haven't you, baby? You eating some prunes? Mm. And some apricots. Mm. 
Hi everyone, so I'm now outside of Chloe's nursery and I'm gonna go and get her and I've had a phone call from my mum to say that she's got her pool up in the garden and seeing as it is so flinging hot, we are gonna go over there and play in the garden for a bit. So I'm gonna go and get Chloe and then let her know what we're up to this afternoon. But yeah, it's ridiculously hot, so, so hot. I couldn't even touch the steering wheel. Um, it was a bit on fire when I got in it a minute ago. So I think a nice swim in a cold pool in the garden is just what me and the girls need. Oh, a groovy biscuit. I want to have, I want to have those. Pardon? Yeah. Lyra, come and sit down and you can have a snack. I'm going to pick what I want to eat. Just Did you say? I did a chip Good girl. You're gonna sit down. Mummy will totally have a jammy dodger. Is it nursery? Yeah. And I got a beautiful wallet. You do look very beautiful. What did you do today at nursery? Um I did dancing. What else did you do? I did I did a cupcake. <gasps> uh, I did a Thomas and Friends cupcake. Wow. It was just Thomas. Yeah. And so you had a good day? And we put the smart teas on there. That sounds like so much fun. You lucky girl, aren't you? George shares his bath with Mr. Dinosaur. Okay, so it's the end of the day now. My sister is still here. I'm gonna be doing her nails for her, uh, just ready for our holiday. I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to show you what I've sort of packed as extra bits and pieces for our holiday yet, but what I'll do is I will film that later on and then tag it on the end here. So keep watching and you will see a quick little video of what I have packed as sort of extras for our holiday to Butlins in Minehead. Okay, so let's show you what extra bits we are taking to Butlins with us. Uh, so let's start off with, let's just go through this, shall we? So I've got some tomato and leek multi puff snacks by Ella's Kitchen. Um, these are just some snacks that I can carry around with me, take in the car in case Lyra gets hungry, because obviously we're only getting um, included in, in the holiday. We've only got the breakfast and the dinner in the evening. I've got some Haribo's for the car journey. Some more snacks. I just got some biscotti biscuits again for the girls to snack on. Some carrot snacks. These ones were from Aldi. I've got a couple of packets of these Bunny Bites crisps as well. And then in terms of fruit, I didn't want things to get like bruised in the bag. So I've gone for pouches. So I've got apple and strawberry pouches and I've got one, two of those. Then I've got an apple, sweet potato, butternut, squash and blueberry pouch. And a bananas and apples pouch as well. I've got a six pack. Let me show you these. I think these are really, really good. Um... I've got a six pack of fruity water, the orange and pineapple flavour. As you can see, everything down here is green. Um, I think that's really good. There's not a lot of added rubbish in it and the girls really like these. So I'm taking these in the car with us as well. I've got some extra toothpaste, which I don't really need to see. I also got the girls one of these bottles each. So I got one with like the flowery ladybird design. And then I got Lyra, the dinosaur one, and these were 59p each in Home Bargains, which was a total bargain. So I got one of those each. I got Lyra a new newbie, nubby, I don't know what they are. One of these bottles, because that's what she takes her milk in at night. So I just thought I'd get her a new one for our holiday. And then when it comes to milk, I have decided to take these with us, the SMA toddler milk just because I can take the carton out with me if we're out and about in the evening and just pop it into her bottle. So I've got a few of those in this bag, as you can see. Then also to keep the kids entertained, if we're sort of sat waiting for shows or whatnot, I've got Chloe the Dory colouring book. Let me show you here. So 
So I've got Chloe this colouring book here, which is quite full actually. It was only a pound from the works. And it's also got like a little story to go along with it, along the top as well. That one's for Chloe. And then for Lyra, I got her a dinosaur colouring book. And again, that was a pound from the works as well. So it's this little pencil case full of the twistable crayons because Lyra gets on really well with these. Some more apple mini rice cake snacks. As you can see, I've got a lot of snacks to sort of keep us going between meals. Well, to keep the kids going between meals. And then I found this online, which I thought was amazing. It clips on to the back of the driver's seat or the passenger seat. You can pop the iPad in this top bit here. And then there's like a pocket at the bottom to put drinks bottles or anything. And this was, I think, about four pounds on eBay. And I thought it was so much cheaper than like a regular iPad holder or buying an in-card DVD player for the girls for the journey, because it's about three hours from where we are to get to Minehead. Um, so I got that, which I thought was an absolute bargain. And then I also bought an in-car iPhone slash iPad charger as well, which was a couple of pounds. And that's it. So this is all the stuff we're taking sort of in the car with us and to keep us going between um, meals or to keep the kids going between meals while we're at Butlins. Obviously, if they get really hungry and we have an early breakfast, I will be buying them sandwiches as there is a Tesco's down the road. But I just thought I'd give you a rough idea of some bits and pieces that we are taking with us. I know it doesn't look all that healthy, but at breakfast we do have a lot of fruit. 